By the time you're done watching this video, I believe you should know how to reduce the sizes of videos using your Android phone. And the best part is, you're not going to lose quality, you're not going to lose resolution either. So 4K stays 4K, 1080p stays 1080p. So in order to do this, we're going to be using this application called um, FFmpeg Media Encoder. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can download this app on your Android phones. So once you're done downloading the app, just open it up. Now when you launch the app for the first time, this is what you're probably going to see. So you want to give the application all the permission it needs to find videos on your phone. So just tap allow. And then that's all. Uh, you can see over here the app comes with a sample video. So if you want to compress and see what the result is, fine. But we're not going to do that. Okay, right here I have two videos that I will be compressing with the app. You can see the first one is 1080p and the second one is 720p. The first one is around 300 megabytes, while the second one is 900 megabytes approximately. So I'll be showing you guys how to compress these videos using that application. So let's begin. So first things first, you want to know the location of where the videos are. So for me, it's in my internal storage and then in a folder called video folder. So that's all. Oops, sorry about that. So now we'll head over to the app and then I'm going to get these videos, compress them and then we'll see the results. All right. Okay, so we are back to the app and um, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up before you can start compressing or reducing sizes. So the first thing is first, this one can be left the way it is, I don't mess with this. But then when you come down here to templates, just tap this and then select this second option that says an H264 AAC. So tap it and now you're free to look for the videos you want to compress. So if you're good with Android devices and navigating, you can stop the video here. But if you want me to carry on, you can continue watching. So I'm going to look for video 1. This is video 1. So tap it. And then I'm going to specify where I want the file to be saved. Just to make things easier, I'm going to save it in the same folder. But what I have to do now is to change the name of the file so it doesn't overwrite this. I don't think you to be able to save without changing the name of the file. So you should only do this if you plan to save the output video in the same folder where the original video is. But if you're not, you don't have to take this step. So everything is set. Now, you don't have to change anything else. Just tap this green button and it should start compressing. So I'm going to pause the video once it starts and then I'm going to come back to you guys once this video is done compressing. Well then, video 1 is done compressing and um, funny enough, it took 13 minutes 59 seconds. I mean, what's 14 minutes? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of what the videos look like. But first of all, let's see what the new size is. Okay, so as you can see, the compressed size is now 20 megabytes compared to the original size, which is on 300 megabytes. So now I'm going to play the videos for you so you guys can see the differences and then we'll move to the next video. Alright, now we are going to compress video 2. I'm just going to rush through this. Well then, video 2 took 22 minutes and 7 seconds. So, I'm going to show you guys the size. So, this is the new size for video 2. And uh, it's still 720p, likewise um, video 1 being 1080p, it's just that it's not showing up here right now. I don't really know why, but maybe it's just because of the way it was compressed. So, um, 
I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now and when it's done, I'm going to tell you guys a few things you should know. Reloading! Cover me! Okay, so a few things you should know about this application. I don't even want to mention the name again. So, number one, it's a free app. It's completely free, but um, you can donate if you want to the developers of the app and um, sometimes ads to show up, which takes me to the second part. I mean, without internet, you wouldn't have apps popping up, so this application can be used offline. So you don't need to have an internet connection to compress your videos, just whenever you want to on the go just compress number three you can queue videos as they compress i was going to show you guys how that worked i was trying to show you guys and it was very laggy and i didn't want that so sorry i can't really show you but um i'll try to do that on my website okay next um okay i kind of observed that um when you're compressing videos and your phone dies like the screen of the phone dies not like the battery died um the compression is going to get slow so the way to fix that is to make sure the phone doesn't die and um, I, i'm sure you you don't have the time to always keep tapping your phone to make sure that doesn't happen so an easy way to do this is by coming up here tapping more options tap settings i already did this so tick this checkbox or oh, let me just show you guys yeah check this box to keep the screen on so the phone doesn't die all right i think those are the good things about the app and now let's talk about the bad or not so good things though. so number one it is a battery killer i i have lost around um, maybe 20 percent of my battery so if you want to do this don't com don't compress too many videos just compress maybe two to three videos so you don't kill your battery all right next it can make your phone get a little warm like mine i won't say mine is a little warm but i feel like it's just because of where i am and with the heat and everything so uh, next phone gets laggy so this is for people who use like um cheap phones i won't really say cheap but um phones that don't have the latest technologies so if you use phones with 2.0 gigahertz below because mine is at 2.0 gigahertz so i don't know what it would be like for phones with 2.1 2.2 so mine gets laggy when i compress videos so if you have the latest phone with the latest snapdragon chipset you'll be totally fine so those are my takes let me know what you guys think and if you have any questions just let me know if i'm able to answer them i will but if i can't as you guys know i'll show you those who know the answer so enjoy compressing and i'll be seeing you guys next time all right stay awesome